Hello there, welcome to Watson's Daily TV. I'm Peter Watson and I'm here with my take on two major topics in today's business news distilled for you in three minutes. Can I beat this buzzer? Today I'm going to talk about BMW's electric dreams and New Look's disappointing performance. So, BMW announced today that it is to accelerate the rollout of its electric cars, addressing criticism from some quarters that it has fallen behind the competition, having been ahead of it uh, with the original launch of the i3. BMW said that it will release 25 fully electric or hybrid models by 2023, which is two years ahead of schedule. BMW forecasts that EV sales should increase by about 30% per annum. In terms of specific models, BMW released the iX3 SUV next year, followed by the iNext and the i4 cars in 2021. The all-electric Mini, built in Oxford, goes on sale this year. This is all very well, but there will be a plethora of EVs being released by everyone and their dog from next year onwards. So it remains to be seen how many are actually sold, given a generally unfavourable economic backdrop and car sales being weaker across the board. Yes, EV sales are, rise, uh, sales are rising, but it's from a very low base. The second thing I wanted to mention today was New Look's disappointing performance as it announced a full year loss of over $500 million um, pounds <laughs> amid challenging conditions that included Brexit concerns and bad weather. It didn't help matters by also being downbeat about the outlook. Mind you, in an, in an effort to turn things around, the fashion retailer has already closed over 80 shops under its CVA and has pulled out of China and Eastern Europe, rejigged its finances and made annualised cost savings of £80 million quicker than expected, with more to come. The company appears to be on the right track with its restructuring, but it's not actually job done just yet. Other than that, in my Watson's Daily online blog that you can find on watsonsdaily.com, I talk about Trump and Iran, Bitcoin breaking the $11,000 barrier, consolidation in American casinos and challenger bank Monzo doubling its valuation. Anyway, Watson's Daily is intended to give you the essence of the day's commercial news with opinion. You can read the whole thing in anything between one and seven minutes. So please go to watsonsdaily.com to find out more if you're interested. See you tomorrow and thanks for watching. Watson, out.